Hello everyone, this is Joe McDonald with A&M Digital Technologies and Help Desk with Joe and Dave with a quick tech tip. With everyone staying home and streaming online, you may be running into several issues like buffering and just uh, overall slow internet issues. So we're going to get, show you a quick tip on how to reduce your internet usage on your Roku devices to help not only speed up your internet at home, but also help reduce the usage on the uh, providers in your internet service provider and the content providers like Netflix, Roku, Hulu, places like that as uh, several people are experiencing issues with outages or blinks in the internet where it works and it doesn't comes back on because everyone is flooding the internet right now so here's a quick tip on how to reduce your internet usage on the Roku what you'll need is your Roku remote and we're going to focus on the home button, the reverse button, and the fast forward button. What you want to do is first you want to hit your home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then hit your reverse button three times. One, two, three. Then your fast forward twice. One, two. But you want to do it a little faster. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. Now next you'll get this bitrate override button. By default, the current stream rate is set to automatic. That means your system will automatically adjust if your internet speeds up or slows down. But what we'll want to do is you want to click your down arrow, then click OK on manual selection. And by default, you'll have all these different numbers. The Mbps is megabits per second, and this is the stream rate. What you want to do is you want to start at the, what I always recommend is either start at the lowest and then work your way up or at least start at one megabit depending on your internet provider. So you want to make your selection, start with the lowest bit rate, click OK, and then see where it says current stream bit rate 0.3 megabits. Once you see that, go ahead and hit your home button again and go back to streaming. The first thing you'll want to do after that is Go to one of your streaming services that you watch a lot of and actually go check the video quality and see if that quality is good enough for you to view. If the picture quality isn't as good as you want it, go back, go through the process again and choose the next number up. Now, this will reduce the quality compared to what you're probably normally seeing, but it's not going to be... Uh, you know, high definition down to nothing, you know, constant blurriness. Just some of the little details in the background may be a little blurrier, but the overall picture will still be pretty good. So try that, and that will not only uh, help your internet bandwidth, but it may actually help stuff load faster. So try that out, and if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. The, again, this is Joe McDonald with A&M Digital Technologies and Help Desk with Joe and Dave Podcast. Have a great day.